Everything Bagel. Because I'm so versatile. Do you really want to be called Steven Everything Bagel Vote? Absolutely. I, I, I believe! I believe! I believe it! I believe it! I believe it's Steven Vote! I believe it's After struggling with Tampa Bay in 2012, Stephen Vogt was traded to the Oakland Athletics on April 6, 2013. The California native returned to his home state excited about the opportunity for a clean slate and the chance to play in front of his friends and family. Stephen caught 65 games in AAA Sacramento where he batted 324 and finally got the call to join Oakland on June 25th. Three games into his A's career, Vogt smashed his first major league hit, a home run off Cardinals reliever Joe Kelly into the right field bleachers. Stephen would stay in the big leagues for the rest of the season, collecting 34 hits and 135 at-bats while throwing out nine base runners. Vogt finished off 2013 in dramatic fashion by beating the Tigers with a soft looper over the infield to secure a game two win in the ALDS. Well, Steven, you found that sinker and you got you got enough of it to get in, right? Absolutely, yeah. He's got a really good sinker and never faced him before, so I wanted to make sure I saw one, you know? Fortunately, I was able to get one over the plate and get the job done. Despite a productive spring training stint in 2014, the A's sent vote back down to AAA following a position battle at first base with Derek Barton and Brandon Moss. This, coupled with the team starting a catching platoon of Derek Norris and John Jaso, Steven was on the outside looking in. Later that summer, the A's found themselves down left-handed bats with injuries to Brandon Moss and Josh Reddick. In order to fill this gap, Volt was brought up, and this time, he would not look back. In addition to donning the tools of ignorance, he stepped up at first and in the outfield, helping the A's finish off an 88-win season. Bouncing between the bigs and the minors was finally over, as Stephen Vogt would stay in Oakland for the next two and a half seasons. In 2015 and 16 were breakout years for Stephen Vogt. He was the undisputed team leader in the locker room and did so by juggling a balance between elite professionalism and downright playful silliness. Go ahead and show him how you'd make a call real quick. First off, I got a, I got a double tech. I got a tech on Rosie for that pink shirt. And I got a tech on my boy 1-5. Watch your mouth when you're talking about Nick Punto. <laughs> See this? See how we're rolling? The late game block and one. Yep. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, clear it out, clear it out. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Count it. White, one, five. <laughs> Block, one. So, so, is, is this there is a, a professional, this is a professional athlete doing this. <laughs> On the field, Vogt was just as entertaining, nearing the team lead in most 2015 offensive categories, including homers, RBI, on-base percentage, and slugging. Vogt also threw out 32% of would-be base dealers. After going 0 for 25 to start his major league career and being shipped from the majors to the minors on multiple occasions, Stephen Vogt reached a baseball milestone by earning back-to-back all-star appearances. From the Oakland Athletics, Stephen Vogt. Sadly, a rough start to 2017, in combination with personnel changes, the A's front office had to make an extremely tough decision. Well, certainly some player moves hurt more than others, and uh, the news today that Stephen Vogt was designated for assignment kind of stings all of us. After the news had spread, four A's fans had the last word when they sent Vogt off into the Oakland sunset with a humorous take on his popular NBA referee persona. For a guy that had to fight so hard to get to the big leagues, and the next thing, you know, he's hitting a walk-off in a playoff series and then into a leadership role, two-time all-star for a guy that, that was a career minor leaguer for a while. Uh, once, he, once he got here, he took advantage of the opportunity to be at the big leagues as well as anybody I've ever seen. So, um, you know, he definitely made an impact here. Not only, like you said, with us in the clubhouse, but the media, the fans, everybody.